So when I have an inequality like that, right, actually I can split into two inequalities. One is A less than B, one is B less than C. So you know, another concept is this. Let's say I have a half uh, x plus 3 less than 1 third uh, x plus 4. So what we do uh, is this. Uh, we don't cross multiply uh, because cross multiply quite dangerous. You know why it's dangerous? Yeah, yeah. But the sign must change. Uh, because the sign you don't know whether to change or not to change. So my advice to you is to make it the same denominator. So this is something like that. Now how to make it to the same denominator? We call it the LCM, right? LCM of 2 and 3. What is the answer? Oh. 6, right? So what I do is I just times times 3 times 3. This one will be times 2 times 2. Uh. Then I get the LCM. So I try it. Uh. 3x plus 3 over 6 less than Oh, sorry, 3 bracket, right? 2x plus 4 bracket over 6. Now what can you do? Okay. Oh. Numerator yeah, equal? Numerator cancel your Numerator equal? Numerator, right? So I can say, oh, then I think, I know, I know. This one is 3x plus 3 less than 2x plus 4. Can you try now? So in inequality, you need to remember x is more than negative 2. So if I change by saying I multiply or I divide by negative 1, the keyword is negative number. I will need to change the sign. So this one become minus x less than 2. Okay. If it's plus or minus, no need to change. But if it's multiply or divide by negative number, I need to so -called change the inequality sign. What you want to learn is how you combine two inequality. Let's start. Now, let's say I have x more than 2, x more than 5. So how I combine is I draw a line. Uh, I say this is x, this is 2, this is 5. I try and color. So I draw a circle, I here. I draw a circle, I here. I look for the overlap area. The overlap area is here, right? So my final answer x more than 5. Now, if there's an equal, then this will be a solid. Okay, remember already? Okay. Now, uh, there's another type. I have x more than 5, x less than 2. So this is 5. Wrong one. This is 2. This is 5. So this is more than, this is less than. Eh? No way I can combine, right? So if I cannot combine, then the answer is x more than 5 or x less than 2. Is that so? Can I combine them? Then I have a all. So if this is shaded, that means there's a thing here, that means there's a line here. That's what it means. Huh? Now, third type x more than 2, x less than 5. So I have 2, this is my x, I have 5, this one goes here, this one goes here. I think there seems to be an overlap area, right? So it means that x is between 2 and 5. Huh? So you have x between 2 and 5. Notice that the arrow faces this direction. So this is the answer. So it's either type 1, type 2, type 3. You try. Scotland exceeds Wales by 20%. Alright. So if I say oh Wales is 100, then this one will be 120. Oh. But I cannot take this. Okay, let's say England. Uh. Let's say England is only made up of these two places. That means these two places add up. Uh. So Scotland plus Wales must give you how many percent? 100%. 100%. So how do I calculate if I only got two places? Oh. How many percent is this? How many percent is this? So the error together will be 100%. Uh. <coughs> Sorry. Uh. Back, back, back to the one we say 100% and then this is 120%, right? 
So if this is x percent, x ah, then this one will be how many x? 120% of x, right? So 120%, 120% of x ah, actually equals to 1.2 times x. Okay? So this is 1.2x. Then again, England is 120% of this, right? Because 20% more. Ma. So it's 1.2 times 1. 1.2 1. of the, the, the people in Scotland. So if I work this out, uh, this is x, this is 1.2x. And you press calculator for me, you'll get 1.44x. So if I take away all the x, uh, I have, because I don't want the, I don't know what's the x anyway, right? This is one, this is one point two, this is one point four. Do you know how to reduce to a lowest term? Which two did they want? They want who and who? Wales, Wales and England. They want Wales and England. Huh? So I highlight. They want Wales and they want England. So they want Wales and they want. England. So the answer is one point four four is to one. Huh? But no good ma because fraction I shouldn't have decimal. So what I can do to both sides multiply by what? Multiply by one. How do I get rid of the decimal times how many? Times hundred. So here times hundred. Times hundred. Then here also times hundred. Then I can so called get rid of one four four this is hundred. So can I reduce to a lower stuff? 